Hello everybody, I'm Silas Prime 7 of Low Energy Gaming, and welcome to another episode of Skyward Sword. Now it looks like we have to go back to the mining facility. Okay, this is going to take a little bit of time here. Let's see. Uh, nope, I... Oh, wait. Oh, that is actually somewhat easier now. Does that do anything to them? Doesn't look like it. Whoa. But they disappeared. Okay. He's dead. Okay. All right. So. Kill those guys. Right over in front of the facility. Like it's right here. Oh, it's right over there. There we go. Now we just have to play the melody and we're good. I said before, this just sounds lovely, elegant. By TV, my Okay. There we go. Thrust your sword into the center of the mark and open the way to a new silent realm. Okay. Ready, sword, and... There we go. Into the Silent Realm once more. Where I'll certainly hate what I have to do here. Damn, I have to go all the way to the top? And there's all these things. Master Silas, as you know by now, I cannot follow you. The trial calls out to your mind alone, as it is in every silent realm. This is the second trial, known as Nehru's Silent Realm. It will test your wisdom, Master. You must overcome this trial to find the flames that will enhance your sword. Okay, Trial of Wisdom. So I probably have to act wisely to get through this. When your vessel is full, your spirit will grow and you will be entrusted with a new power by the goddess. Do you have any questions? No. Yes, master. Master, I will await your return in the outside world. Okay, there's one right in front of me. There's one right over there. Uh, 
Let's go for it. Yeah, yeah, I know. He activates. There we go. Got a little bit of time. Okay, one over there, one right here. All right. No, I don't want to get all of them so soon. Not all of them that are right here, at least. I want to get this one up top before trying to get all of the surrounding ones here. All right. Now then. You have to know when... Well, which ones to go for and when you want to go for them. He's kind of creepy, but he's nothing to be worried about right now. Alright. Just take that. And rush on by. Alright. How to get to that one, though? Ooh, right over there. This is one that'll test the limits of me being able to time it. Whoa, that was close. All right, we're five, we're six in now, so we're over a third of the way there. This one... Huh. Just laying out there, huh? Oh, I see. Because it's right over here. Yep, Dusk Relic. blah de blah Five? Alright. Okay. All right. Now back along this way. Okay, over there. We've got eight now. We're over halfway there. All right. And nothing can stand in our way. Okay, that's... Ah. Okay, see, I see what's happening here. Grab that. Reset the clock and let this just happen. I don't need to touch the awakening water as long as I have enough space to move around it and enough time to wait for it. 
Ooh. That is very close, though. Okay. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go now. Nope, 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 nope. Haha. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit. Crap. So that's what happens. Okay, okay. Oh shit, oh shit. Come on, this is why I put, left this here. Ho ho! Okay, I've got three left. One's up over by that tree. One's right here. And one is right here. So that's why that was always there. All right. So now I've just got to get to that tree. And get it down from that tree. Hmm. How do... Like that. All right. Spirit has grown. Now we just gotta make our way back. Ooh. This was not a fun one. I think this one is the closest I've gotten to failing so far. Granted, there's only one previous experience, so it's kind of... But still. That scared me. When the thing just started going crazy. Jesus. Okay, okay. Yes. And just make it back. There we go. Lovely. I got the claw shots. With this sacred gift, you will be able to explore areas that were previously unreachable. Aim for special targets and vines, then fire a claw on a chain that pulls you to the place you have targeted. Press down to center your aim anytime. Yeah. Wow, I've almost got all of the special equipment. All right. And with this, we'll be able to do so much more. <laughs> Congratulations, Master. You have completed the trial. You now have the power to proceed to the sacred flame that will be entrusted to your sword and your strong spirit. All right. Oh. The claw shots are one of the goddess's sacred gifts. You can extend these claws attached to chains to pull yourself to targets and vines beyond your reach. The flame is somewhere in the desert. I conjecture that it lies in a place you have not yet visited, Master. 
Well, no shit. I was gonna go ahead and check all the places where I had visited. You know, just... just to make sure. All right. Let's go ahead and save here. And I've been carrying the exact wrong shield. I should have been using the wooden shield right now. Oops. Nope, nope, nope. Fuck the bird. Fuck the bird. Wow. Ha! He saved me from the bird. Wow, that's just funny. All right. Now, up this and... There we go. Another one dead. All right. Now, let's see. I want to get to that goddess cube. There has to be a target somewhere. There it is. All right. And you know what this means? That's another cube down. All right. Now, moving on. Uh-oh. I may not have meant to do that. Haha. <laughs> I got him to drop his boulder early. All right. Up and over. And there's a tiny chest over here. 20 rupees. Damn, I'm almost full up. I should really stop by the shop. Let's see. Ah, I see. Wow, I just kicked his ass. Okay, I really should stop by the shop sometime soon. I mean, I... My wallet is almost completely full. What was over here? Oh, just that. Okay. Nothing important. Nothing of importance. Alright, just... Flosh... Just claw my way up there. Okay, so there's a way to do it more than once. Let's just go up here. And see what's through this hole. Nehru Caves. Whoa! That's a Goron. Ain't seen any Gorons like him in a while. Since Gorko. I almost never get visitors. My name is Golo, and I am researching the legend of the three dragons. 
one of which is said to live here. <coughs> At first glance, it would seem that there is nothing in this area, but I know there is something here. I'll just keep on looking. So your name is Silas? I see. Not the easiest name to say, is it? Hey, fuck you. Uh, and how about you, Silas? Why are you here? Well, I'm looking for the same dragon. I mean, I saw this other dragon back in the woods. Got her scale. You are looking for a sacred flame? That sounds like something I've heard of before, but maybe not. Wow, you're just a load of help. Sweet Goro, I remember now. I read something about it in an ancient scroll. Oh, well, about it in ancient scrolls that spoke of the Laneru Sansi. Sansi? What the hell is a Sansi? I do not remember all the details, but you can get to Laneru Sansi if you just go straight through here. Okay. Uh. Oh. Grapple shot. If you want to get to the Laneru Sansi, you're going to need this key, which I'm not going to give to you, because it's mine. Okay, he gave me the key. That's kind of nice of him. I never expected the guy to give me a key. Well, to give me the key. So much pomp and presence for just a monster horn. Uh, some Bokoblins carry a monster horn on their waist. If you latch onto it and pull with your whip, it is possible to claim it for yourself. Interesting. But right now, I'm more interested in throwing these bombs! Boom. Oh, did not mean to open that. Ahead is Laneru Mine. It is there that I will solve the mystery of the time shift stones. Yeah, I don't think you solved that mystery. And boom. Aha. Ah, that's kind of useless. Okay, moving on. Ahead is Laneru Sansi, an area covered in an ocean of sand. There are lots of ancient ruins there. Not bad. Claw shots. There we go. Just let go there, and... Onwards and forwards. Because, you know, Golo is so much help. Whoa. A report, Master. This is Laneru Sansi. This whole area was once a vast ocean. But the water has all evaporated, and now the area is a sea of sand. Okay. And what does that do for me? Because right now it doesn't seem to be doing much for me. Signs indicate that this place functioned as a port, linking the land to the sea. Okay. That's nice and all. Huh. There's still somewhere I have to investigate down this way. Alright. This area operated on a new form of power. There is 90% probability that the Sacred Flame is located ahead. I recommend exploring this sand sea. Okay, and you can't help me out, give me a dowsing point to work with. Just one to the next. And... Oh. Okay. Let go there. And... There we go. Now we're at the port. Wow. I thought somebody was following me because I was hearing footsteps. No, it's just... The place is made of metal. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Nope. Ow. I am not doing well on this. My worst enemy. Electrified enemies. Ow. Ow. Seriously, I can kill everything else, but electrified enemies will end up killing me. Okay, I'm saving at this bird. Alright, and I think that is a time stone. There we go. Whoa. Hey there, Captain. Could you give me a lift? Were they straight up using time as an energy source? That's kind of cool. Hmm. Hmm. Who are you? Bzz. Some human? Berm. Who am I? Ber... I am the proud skipper of the ship that protects Nehru's flame. Weep. Protector ship? Interesting. Tell me more. It was the day of the storm. Weep. My crew and I were navigating the seas as usual. Verm. And then those brutes... Bzz, the pirates suddenly attacked us. Burzd. They were after Nehru's flame. Zzzt. My crew was imprisoned. Brrt. And I was thrown into the sea. Then how'd you get here? I drifted on the current to this port. Verm. And you just stayed here until you died? After that, I took this boat and went searching for my ship and crew. But they were nowhere to be found. Zzzt. It haunts me. Wondering where my ship could be. Weep. I'd bet my hat that they've, they've turned the ship invisible and are hiding out somewhere. Vroom. You can't see it. How'd they turn it invisible? In order to protect Nehru's flame, the ship has a function that allows it to become invisible. Weep. You say you're searching for Nehru's flame. Bzzzt. Oh, so you need Nehru's flame to find someone important to you, Verm. In that case, you should help me search for my ship and crew, Weep. Okay, I can do that. I can douse for it. If you'll help me, bzz, then I guess I'll let you on my boat. Sure. Really, Verm? In that case, bzz. Hmm. There's something weird about that map of yours, Verm. If you're going to navigate these treacherous waters, then you need a proper sea chart, Dweep. There is a sheet sea chart in my shack at Skipper's Retreat. Bzzzt. So first you need to get on this boat and set a course for Skipper's Retreat. Shall we shove off, Verm? Sure. Let's get out of the, this place. Let's blow this pop stand. <clears throat> the seas of the sand seas are open to us. My spur circuit sparked to life in the salt air, Verm. It feels good to take to the seas again after so long, but let's see if I can remember how to navigate, Berzert. Okay, A to speed up. Joystick to move. B to ready the cannon, A to fire it. I placed an X mark over the island where my house is, Verm. There's a pier on the island where we can dock, Bzzert. Okay. Right, let's go, Verm. Oh. And that'll be it for today's episode. 
That'll be it for today's episode, so thank you all for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode, so take it easy.